Hi and welcome to another Studio One how-to. In this video I'm going to show how to fix glitches using Studio One. If you have a glitch in your audio you might be a little confused because there's no paint tool to like draw in a waveform or something like that but there are enough tools to work with and you need to be a little aware of the snap modes when you're doing this kind of work. So I'm just going to get into it. This is the bass line that I've got that's got a couple glitches. And I went through here and marked them with markers so I could easily find them, but they're also pretty visible if you zoom in. If you're zooming way in like this, it helps to use the timeline zoom, and you just pull down around the area where you want to focus. So for glitch work, we want to focus as, I guess, far in as we can. Now, the real trick with this is we need to use the sample mode. One, we want to ch change this bars for the ruler to samples because we're at the sample level here. If you try to fix these by cut and paste and crossfades and things, you'll find that the results aren't very good. However, if you go to quantize snap and you go to the down right down to the sample level, then you can do this pretty pretty efficiently with normal editing tools. So I'm going to just cut out this little this little piece of glitch like that. You can see that it's a single sample long. Right now there's down here we're in the a very low end um, area of volume. So there's not much going on. So all I'm going to do is create a patch by just taking an adjacent sample, use the arrow tool I'm going to delete to fill in that hole. So that's really all we need to do there. Then once we've done that, we can select all these pieces here and hit B, which will render a new file that completely eliminates that one sample glitch. Now the next one here is a bigger hole. And you might have to be a little creative if you actually come across something like this. This is more of a dropout that you might get from, I don't know, some sort of a hardware error or, or something like that. <clears throat> but the way that I attack something like this that's several samples long is to create a little patch. And I do that by looking along the waveform to find something similar. We can see that this downward trending part of the waveform on this baseline is similar. So I'm just going to duplicate the whole thing here. So I'll duplicate track with events. And I'm going to drag this over with snap turned off underneath the section. Let me just expand this out a little bit. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see how this patching works. I want something that has a very close shape to what I'm going to put in here. And now you want to go to the most extreme zoom. I want snap on for this. I'll pick the cut tool and I'm going to cut to create this patch. Also to create another set of cuts here and delete the hole that I've got this. Studio One has constrained dragging, so I can just drag that patch up into the hole. Now we can use this handle here just to adjust that up, just to fill that in. So it's very similar to what you'd do if you did have a paint tool. And again, if we want to save this work, then we select all those, hit B, and that glitch is fixed. And then we've got one more to deal with here. This one here also looks like one sample long. So for this, I'll go back to the, the split tool, use the arrow to delete the hole, and then we'll decide what to do. We could pick this sample or this one here. Since we see this one goes two samples long and that one goes one, just based on that logic, I'm going to duplicate this sample here. So I put a split there. I'll select this sample, hit D to duplicate it, and now I've filled in that hole. And hopefully you heard the glitching that I had before. And as soon as we get this selected here, I'm going to hit B again. And now I've got all those patches corrected. I'll delete this duplicate track because I no longer need that. We'll go back to zoom out. I can also switch back to bars and adaptive snap for the other work I normally do, and let's audition this. Well, there's a there's a different issue that it has a, a, a click on the front edge of this loop. So that just needed a crossfade. And I guess we needed to trim up the backside of that loop as well. We can just use a little bit of a fade there. And we've completely fixed the glitch in the audio in this bass loop. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you again very soon in the next video.